Hello everyone and welcome back to Yankee Devil where of course every day is a train show and today we're going to be showing you once again new products that hopefully will find their way on your rails all right and speaking of rails some of you might need to know how fast your model trains are going after all you don't want to get a ticket from your model train police so here we are we have back in stock here the AccuTrack 2 speedometer so if you want to see how fast your model trains are going this might be the product for you or maybe if you know a friend that's going too fast you can be like ah uh, hey Watch how fast you're going here, all right? So the AccuTrack actually sells for $87.95, but we're selling it here at Yankee Dabbler for $69.95. So if you're looking or if you're interested to find out how fast your model railroad is going, get one of these on your layout today. Now, I know a lot of us here are trying to save money, okay? And I came up with a way that we could save money and yet still be able to afford model trains, all right? So I'm gonna give you our Yankee Dabbler tips on saving money. So for example, you know how much money you really spend on food a lot so what you do is you tell your entire family you're going on a diet say you're they're really fat they're going to be self-conscious say that we're got to get rid of the food with the money you save you can buy hopper cars you get thin you get hopper cars it's a win-win so what if people are mad at you or starving who cares we got hopper cars and speaking of hopper cars we have here some hopper cars from atlas that we're going to check out right now these are the acf hopper cars from atlas and of course these are n scale cars here and i really like the design of these cars here you know a lot of you like the model the modern stuff that you see here today and i think these are great cars to get on your layout especially if you like to model the modern era now these cars retail actually for 29.95 but we're selling them here at yankee dabbler for 20.99 the neat thing about these cars here is once again just like what atlas usually does is they provide good detailing take a little look at the roofs there as well as the bottom part there i love the different colors on these cars here and i have a whole bunch of different road numbers to go with the road names so if i want to get this car and get a couple of different variations here well we got that set up for you and you could get a nice long hopper you to train rolling on your layout today so come to yankee dabbler and get these pulling on your layout today Okay, so number two saving hack. Are you ready? So cable subscriptions are very expensive. So what you do is you cut the cord, get rid of the cable TV. And with the money that you save, you can buy as many box cars as you can. And if you're still in the, you know, feeling like you gotta watch TV, just invest in a nice pair of binoculars and look at your neighbor's house and see what they're watching. I'm getting really caught up on all my children. Can you believe Billy is pregnant with Josie's baby again? How is that possible? Well, I'll, 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 I'll stay tuned with that one. But anyway, let's take a look at these uh, double door plug box cars from Atlas here. And these are these HO cars here that I know you're really gonna love here. Some of these are really neat designs here. For example, I love the Simpson Timber Company. Ooh, we got some Purina. So if you're looking to uh, sing your dog food out, we got a car there for you. But some of these cars are just really nicely colorful. And you know me, I like a lot of color on my railroad and I like a lot of different variation. And these cars are just great. Once again, I have a couple of different road numbers that go along with these cars here. So if you want to get a nice long unit train, you can get that thing happening today, all right? Now, I love just the look of these cars. We all need more box cars. So take a look at all the detailing, all the writing, everything that's in here. This is the Simpson Timber Company. Don't! This is a great looking car there. Even the bottom is nicely detailed, okay? I have metal wheels, that's always a good thing. So these cars actually retail for, let's see if I can find them, $32.95, but we're selling them here for $22.99. So you could get one, two, eight, or 35 of them rolling on your layout today, because I know, once again, we all need box cars, so come in the Yankee Dabbler and get them rolling today. Okay, money saving hack number three. This is a good one. All right, so look, clothes are very expensive, right? And especially with the kids going back to school, they need new outfits. So here's a great money ha saving hack that will also allow you to get trains. So you know they all come in boxes, right? Well, what do you usually do with the boxes? You just store them, or what you could do is you can fashion clothes with them. Look, mittens, see? I got mittens here, I can make shoes, and then of course you're gonna need a whole bunch for like your shirts and pants, so you have to buy more cars. See, I mean, this is a great money saving hack, so save them money, buy trains, use the boxes as clothes. That's a great idea. It is, just try to avoid any uh, type of weather. All right, so we have some more N-scale cars that we're gonna take a look at here from Scale Trains, and check out these thr Thrall Carbon Black 
hoppers that we have for you. So check these puppies out here. And these are beautifully designed cars here. And of course, these are from Scale Trains. And Scale Trains provides an awesome product. And the thing I love about these cars is the couplers are actually brown. So they are a little bit more realistic than a lot of the manufacturers just put a black coupler on there for N Scale. So I love the fact that they are painted appropriately. Now, these cars are just incredibly detailed. Once again, even though they're not the most colorful of the bunch, these cars here do have a lot going for them. They have die cast metal wheels so that's always a plus i know our end scalers usually like to change those out here this couplers actually has springs in them too so that is just awesome these are great cars here and once again i have a whole bunch of different numbers for them so these uh, cars retail for 39.99 but they go um we're selling them here around 29.99 to 31.99 depends on some of the licensing some of the cars were a little bit more pricing and the course of design here so some are 29.99 some are 31.99 get the ones that you want rolling on your layout today because i think it has a great deal to get on these cars especially if you're end scaler and you love detailing can't beat this so get them rolling today all right are you ready for this one so look say if a holiday is coming up right everyone's gonna expect a gift all right well what you do here ready is you just get everyone really really angry at you right before the holidays say something make a political statement or something get them mad at you so they're not gonna want to see you at the holidays then what you do is you use whatever money you save to buy trains and then like a month later make up with them and everything's good I mean, these are just great hacks. I mean, I think you should all do that, all right? So, yeah, and with that money you save, you can buy these Colveyor Hopper cars from Atlas. And I love these cars here. There are just so many great looks with these cars here. And I just think these are really cool, especially, once again, if you like the model, modern stuff here, this is the way for you to go. As a matter of fact, all the cars we've seen today have been very modern. Now, these cars come in a variety of different colors. And, of course, once again, I had different numbers that go with these cars as well. As a matter of fact, I think each one of these cars has somewhere between, I want to say it's four different uh, road numbers. Uh, four to six. I can't remember off the top of my head. But we have a whole bunch of different road numbers. And I actually have a three-pack, too, that has a couple of these different cars here. So if you're looking to get a whole bunch of these cars happening, that's the way for you to go. I really particularly like this one here. I think this one just looks cool. As a matter of fact, it even says scrap metal. It has the website up top there. I mean, these are really cool here. Engineer Hall, how often do you see these cars running on the rails today? Quite often. They also use them in trash and secondary life. Very nice, all right? So these cars are definitely ones that you would want, and they might have a, a new life on your railroad, especially if you're gonna use them secondhand, you could haul some trash, all right? So these cars retail for $39.95, but we're selling them here at Yankee Devil for $27.99. And the neat thing about these cars here is they have a lot of weight to them too. So you're not gonna have to worry about weighing these things down or having them fall off your rails because they are weighted down, they look great, they feel great, you need a whole bunch of them on your layout today, so what are you waiting for? All right, so look, is your electric bill getting too high because you're running your railroad empire? Don't worry, this is a great money-saving hack. So what you do is you load up everything on a, on a contact strip, put it into an extension cord. Once again, go to your neighbor's house and plug it into his house. That way he gets charged and you save the money, you can run your railroad. I mean, it's a win-win for everybody, okay? So, one of those engines you might want to power up on that layout would be these PA Alcos from Rapido. I love these engines here, and I hope you do too. So, as you can see here, I have a bunch of different variations here. This one's actually classified as a PA2. That is the Southern Pacific. I have here a PA1, the DNH, and I love that illuminated number board here. As a matter of fact, it also has some truck lights happening here, too. That is awesome. I have here the Lehigh Valley. Even the, the, marker, uh, the number boards there are lit up here. I have here the Spirit of 1776. This is a great-looking engine here. I love those blue trucks, too. They look great. Especially if you're a Bicentennial fan here. We have here the New Haven classic look here and i have the rio grande and i love the look on these engines here look the pa alcos are just some of the most stunning looking diesel locomotives that you could have out here and of course as you can see some of them actually have different variations with the lights so for example if you take a look here at the southern pacific you can see i had the mars like here and i had the dual beam here uh, horizontally whereas if you take a look at the dnh that i have here i just have a single beam headlight but i do have a mars light happening here 
Then if you take a look here at the Lehigh Valley, you're going to see it's just a single light that's happening there. So depending on what the model was for the railroad depends on, you know, how they modeled them here for Rapido. And I think they did a fantastic job. Even the tops of the roofs are a little bit different here. As you can see, just different detailing and they're very railroad specific. Now, these single individual Pia Alco sell for $335. But we're selling them here at Yankee Devil for $309.99. I really like these engines, and we're going to mess around with one of them right now. And I think in that spirit of 1776 is calling me, so let's fire her up. All right, so before we get started, Rapido once again likes to put their uh, a lot of little subtle Easter eggs into their engines here. We're going to take a look at some of them right now. For example, we have here, it's a very long sequence. I'm not going to play the whole thing, but we have a little advertisement here for the Atchison Topeka and the Santa Fe. Believe it or not, that sequence is around two and a half minutes. So we're not going to put a whole thing. But here's another one, another advertisement for the New Haven. How about something for the Rio Grande? So that's if you want to watch a Western at uh, 200 times the speed it normally goes. All right, let's actually start some of these train sounds, shall we? Here we go. I love the PA Alka sounds because they always sound like they're going like, to kick out at any moment. Here's the horn. Sounds so neat. Let's back it up, shall we? Once again, a neat thing about these engines is they actually have a couple of different variations. So if I'd say like the DNH and I wanted to get two different ones and put them together, I could get two A units and with different row numbers. Now, some of you actually might be thinking, you know what, these are great, but usually I like a B unit to go along with my PA Alcos. Well, don't fret because I got you set covered. So if you want this B unit uh, with the PA Alcos, I have these for your consideration. This is the Southern Pacific with the Bloody Nose paint scheme. And this is a great look here. Actually, this is once again a PA2. But I really like the look of this diesel locomotive. And if you want to get the 
pretty version with the daylight colors or the non-pretty version with the bloody nose colors, although you might think it's pretty, uh, that is the way for you to go. My personal favorite here, actually two of these are my favorites. I have the Pennsylvania right over here, and I love this design, especially because Pennsylvania used to put the antennas up here. So I love that look there. But this is just a great looking design here if you're a Pensy fan. And my other favorite one here is the Lightning Stripe New York Central here, and that is a great look as well. Now, I also have a couple of other ones upstairs that have uh, B in it. I know the Denver, uh, the Rio Grande is one that has a uh, B in it. I think I have one for the DNH as well. So the best way for you to see which ones have a B in it, come to Yankee Dabbler, go on our website, and you can see which ones have the B in it that go with it. So if you're looking to get a little bit more power added to your train, this is a great way to go. One thing that I didn't mention earlier is these trains actually all have die-cast metal couplers. Let's go into these couplers here for a second. If you check those out here, I know a lot of people like to put metal couplers on their engines. Well, Rapido got you covered there. All the PA Alcos have metal couplers. All right. Hey, let's get one of these rolling with some of those freight cars that we saw, and we'll see if hopefully it finds its way on your layout. Let's go. All right. So we got all this uh, freight cars that we took a look at today being pulled by this PA Alco and B unit from the Pennsylvania Railroad. All aboard. Arriving on track number one, the standard railroad of the world. So that's an awesome look at diesel locomotive, especially if you want to get one with a little bit more power, get that B unit with it as well. Now, the A and B units retail for $625, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $569.99. Those are awesome diesels. I think if you're a diesel fan, or especially someone of American railroading history, you definitely need a PA Al Alco pulling some trains on your railroad today. So come to Yankee Dabbler, get these engines rolling on your layout before you missed out on them and you're kicking yourself that you did. Now, if you excuse me, I thought of another money-saving hack, just in case none of those ideas I give you failed. What you do is you uh, create a little mask here, okay? Beautiful. Oh, look at this. All right, and then what you do is you just go to your local bank, and you just take all their money, and then that way you have it for trains. <laughs> so, you know, last resort. All right, take care, everyone. Woo, trains going my way. Here we go. I got the car run. Let's go. Woo!